Hello Internet and welcome to a Star Citizen video with Haversight. Today we are talking the Aegis Reclaimer, the heavy industrial salvage ship. With the 3.18 PTU in action, I can give this ship a go. And most importantly, with salvaging now possible, this ship is more than ever than it was before and can finally earn glorious AUEC. And I have one question though, can it be used solo? So if you're interested in exactly this, then join me as I attempt to use the Reclaimer on my own. Are you ready? Let's go. The Reclaimer is the first ship of its kind. It's a space salvage ship, the older brother of the Vulture. It's equipped with a reinforced cargo bay, a long range jump drive and has launch pods for unmanned drones, though they're not implemented yet. The Reclaimer is an ideal ship for turning space junk into cash. At the time of this video's creation, the ship has a 180 SCU cargo hold with the additional benefit of 120 SCU of salvage storage to allow easy storage of salvage materials. The Reclaimer is awaiting an interior rework and this additional salvage hold has been put in place to compensate for the salvaging mechanic for the time being, but this will change in the future. The Reclaimer is designed as a multi-crew ship and has six remote turrets for defensive capabilities. It also has two salvage arms for salvaging which will allow it to salvage hulls for recycled materials. These lasers are more powerful than the Reclaimer's little vulture brother and really do make a massive difference and soon you'll be on your way to earning cash faster than a vulture before you know it. And this is only the first iteration of salvaging. In the future it will also come with a tractor beam for additional gameplay. Comparing this with the Mole the lasers are more powerful and it does make a massive difference and we will go on into more depth about this in the video. Overall, when you first summon this ship and go and take a look at it within the hangar, it is massive in comparison to other ships like the Vulture, even the Mole. This ship triumphs it. It is massive and the detail on it is phenomenal. When you take off and you see the ship parts moving, and I don't know if you've watched my other videos and if you have, you know I'm a sucker for moving parts on a ship. This ship has it. It reminds me of a mechanical mech, you know, like from Armored Core, where it, it literally just moves and it moves like a spider or mechanical spider. I don't really know how to describe that in any other way. It just looks fantastic. If you've never tried it, go and give it a go on the PTU if you have access. If not, go and rent the ship in Lawville. At the moment, this ship has two ways to get in it. You have the way which is at the front of the ship, which is via the ladder, which we saw earlier in the video. And then you have the rear cargo elevator. Though personally, I found that a little bit difficult to get into at the minute. I don't know if that was just a PTU aspect bug type thing, or whether it was just literally that the, the ship was too high off the ground. I, I, maybe I just couldn't get the correct sweet spot, which is quite likely the possible cause. I mean, I'm not, not an expert at this ship yet at all. I don't ever claim to be. Um, but really, the details are fantastic. It's got multiple layers for cargo. So you've got the cargo hold at the bottom and then they've got a salvage hold. You've got the salvage processing station, which is where the, the filler stations are to get the salvage. And then you've got an actual balcony that goes around the top. Even at this stage, it's great. I know they, are, as I mentioned earlier, are going to be doing a rework of this interior. But even so, the detail and the actual way this is set out right now is actually pretty damn good. Irrespective of which entry you use, you can get to all aspects of the ship from within the ship. It is phenomenally detailed, it is amazingly in-depth, and it makes you feel like you're in industrial facilities. Overall, you can pledge to purchase this ship, or you can head over to our good friends over at New Deal in Lawville to purchase this ship. Take a right at the Vantage Rental Kiosk, head down, and on the right is the New Deal shop. Head to the rear of the workshop where you'll find the sales terminal where you can purchase the ship for 15,126,400 AUEC. As we're going to be using this ship solo, we need to know how to get to the cargo hold, and it's a bit of a maze the first time, so get out of the seat and come out of the cockpit area. And use the elevator to go up towards the habitation area, the second deck, main deck. Once you're up there, it's a bit of a little bit of a maze, but if we take a right first, head on down, ignore that door and take a left, and then an immediate right. 
we come to a big door, we go through, more doorways here, we can way around, and straight at the end here is the elevator, which is the access to all of the different cargo holds, even the processing facility. That is as easy as it is. So, to get started with our salvaging, we need to head over to a salvageable area. Now, we're going to use the Arc L1 station. Outside of there is some salvage wrecks that we can go and use on the test server, so we're going to do that now. I don't know about you, but the moving parts on that ship as it takes off is phenomenal. I can't even say the word, but it is literally fantastic to see. They just move in such a way that's so realistic and you don't really see that in many games. The biggest downside to the Reclaimer is its size and its bulk. It's so heavy, If once you've taken off, if you don't keep going up, it's coming back down and you'll probably end up in the floor if you're not careful. So once just point up and shoot all the way up until you get into the space. Once you're out into the space, you'll go seven, eight hundred meters a second if you use your afterburner and that can of course cause its own problems when you need to slow down this is a heavy ship it's gonna take time to slow down so just be cautious when flying it i mean if you've flown the mole you're probably gonna have a good start with this but just be mindful this is a tank at the time of this video's creation on the ptu salvaging is as simple as going to an arkel or a lagrand station and literally heading out into the asteroid belts there'll be little markers as you can see on my hud that are for salvaging wrecks they are wrecks that are already there that you can salvage so all you need to do is head on over and find one of them this one here is an 890 jump which is ideal i mean we have a reclaimer so we're gonna suck it all up most important thing that you need to take in mind and if you have experience with the mole is positioning you need to position the ship correctly when solo because you're not going to be able to move it once you've got out of the pilot seat so what you want to do is is literally be above the ship so the lasers can attack it attack it well aim at the ship and suck it up the lasers don't aim very high so what you want to do is ensure that your nose is above the ship because the turrets are below and they don't go up not very high anyway once you're in the right position you can get out of your pilot's chair and head over to one of the two salvage chairs that you can use to salvage up the wrecks turn on l if you need to to initiate your light which is always worthwhile doing like i've done here and then once you're actually in the chair you don't need to actually turn on anything besides the screen to turn on the power and then activate the mining mode by activating the remote session which is the little button at the bottom of the bottom console once you're in the mining mode you don't need to do any more you don't need to press m to turn on mining mode or anything like that you can just click and start sucking up that that debris as with the vulture the salvage mode remains basically the same the ui is more or less the same in terms of functionality so you have a material valid material section you have the hull of the ship and then your cargo capacity as you're filling up the laser so turn on the laser with the left mouth button and then you can start extracting all that debris from the ship. I found with the Reclaimer, I was actually having to move my mouse a lot faster because the extraction rate was recently buffed. So the amount that you get collected per second is a lot more than the Vulture. As with the Vulture, there is two modes of lasers. You've got the abrade laser, which is the smaller diameter. However, with the Reclaimer, the diameter is much larger than the, the Vulture's. A raid laser and then you've also got the trawler uh, which is the reclaimers bigger version it has a bigger diameter slower extract rate uh, and, and less efficiency but overall i never even needed to use that which on the vulture i felt i needed to but on the reclaimer i can use the, the first laser the abrade laser and literally within less than a minute and a half i've filled up an scu of cargo this is amazingly faster than the vulture did I went back after doing this run and tried again with the Vulture and I just couldn't beat it. It just sucked. I, I just literally felt like the Vulture wasn't sucking up any material, not in any efficient manner. You can see on this video, I'm getting 0.1, even up to 19, 20, point 20 SEU of extraction speed per second. Whereas on the Vulture, I couldn't even get above 6 or 8. So the difference is almost double in some cases. Of course, this varies a lot because it does move around and you're moving the laser and there's less material, so less being collected. But overall, this is really quick. Once this is full up to two, we've then maxed out this laser's capacity because the filler station itself can only hold two units. Well, it will, it will spit one unit out automatically as it did, and then it will allow me to collect a second SCU cargo box, which I'm doing now. Once that's full, that cargo box will stay in the filler station. But I'm not going to go and sort that out just yet, because once this is full, which it is now, I'm going to get out of the seat, 
I'm going to go hop into the other mining, I say mining, salvage laser, which is literally directly opposite of where I am now in front of me. I'll get into that one and I'll repeat the process. I'll fill up the, the filler station fully with the SCU of one box and then get a second box fill up and then we're going to go and sort the cargo out. Now bear in mind at this point on a vulture I'm going to be getting out of the seat and heading on down to the cargo area. Now that is only a literal jump away because it's just down that small ladder through a couple of doors and you're in the vulture's cargo bay. But to do that, I've got to fill up the, the SEU boxes of the filler first, and with the Vulture, it is a lot slower. Overall, though, with the Reclaimer, I have the benefit of having four boxes filled up before I have to go and move them. But don't forget, I'm collecting these boxes in less than a minute and a half, so overall, there is a massive difference in the speed it takes to collect. I've got more facts on that later on in this video, so do continue watching. In my pros and cons, I've got literally different times that the different ships take to do this salvaging at this time so we're going to kind of continue here we're just about finished with the the first box on this second laser once the second laser is full i say second laser second box of this laser is full i'll then head on down to the cargo area and move the boxes out of the filler station With the second box of the second laser now full, we need to head on over to the cargo hold, specifically the actual salvage processing section to get the boxes out of the filler station. So the route we took earlier in this video, we're going to take that now. As with the mole, I suppose this is really the bit that people will get most frustrated with when doing this solo. I mean, to be fair, it's actually not that bad. The mole takes 20 seconds or so to 30 seconds, if it depends how fast you are, to get from the car pilot seat to the, uh, the mining laser on the mole. And the reclaimer isn't really that much difference. It takes about 30 seconds to get from the pilot seat to the cargo elevator. So really, there's not much difference. If you're used to doing it solo, then you can do the same with the Reclaimer, if you've got the patience. At the end of the day, the difference in cargo hold size between the Vulture, which is 12 SCU, and this Reclaimer is so massively different, you're not going to want to use the Vulture because you can literally do it all on your own in a bigger ship. It just means you've got to move your butt out of the pilot seat. So this is the salvage processing area. You can see now the refiller station on the left and the right has a box. So we're going to use the tractor beam on our little multi-tool to move the boxes out of the filler stations. And then we're going to eject the other two boxes that we have held in them because we hadn't moved the other boxes. So we can get four in total. And one goal. <laughs> right down into the cargo hold area, which is the salvage hold down the, the little hole that I chucked that box down. So we extract all the boxes, we can move all of these down there. You don't even have to do that now, you could store them up here. I mean, you're doing this on your own and there's plenty of room on this salvage processing floor. But I mean, I chuck them down here, which is where they should be going. But as you can see, there's so much space here, you could literally just store them anywhere. Once they're down there, that's all we need to do is just get them out of the filler station. That's all we're here to do. And then we can head on back to the pilot seat, or pilot seat, the salvage lasers, and uh, continue salvaging that hull. Overall, the process of filling up the two lasers and then heading over to the salvage processing area, moving the boxes, and then coming back to the pilot area to get back in the salvaging lasers to continue less salvaging takes around seven minutes. And on a vulture, I found I was still mining the first two boxes in eight minutes. 
I mean, the difference is, is astounding. I'm making four boxes in the same time it's the, taking the vulture to make two. And don't get me wrong, the reclaimer should be better. It's bigger, it's more expensive, and should have better lasers. But I still think the balance should probably be a little bit better in maybe the value earned at the same time. I don't know. It doesn't seem quite right just yet. Once you're back in the salvaging laser, that is the entire process of doing this solo. You can literally do it solo. It's so easy. It's easier than a mole in my opinion because you haven't got to crack rocks. You just come out in the ship, you point your mind the salvaging laser, you click on the, the ship and away it goes. You just move the laser around and you are collecting salvage faster than you can literally think about it. I think this is really good in comparison to the Vulture. I, I'm actually thinking this might be the way to go for the time being. But of course, balance passes might change this. But at this time, if this goes to live, I think there might be a little bit of a balance issue between the two ships. So they really should look at that. Of course, one big thing that is going to be an issue with doing this solo is that you are defenseless while you're not in that pilot seat or have anyone with you to control the guns. But yeah, them's the brakes. Overall, I spent some time flying both the Reclaimer and the Vulture to, to obtain some times of flying both ships and salvaging with both. With the Vulture, I found it took me roughly 42 minutes to fill the cargo hold, and that includes moving the boxes as well, which equates to roughly two boxes every five to seven minutes, and that's being generous. Sometimes it was taking longer, sometimes it took a bit less, but not much less, because the extraction time is just so vastly different. Once you've used both, you really can see the difference. In the Reclaimer, I found it took me 22 minutes roughly to fill up the same amount as a vulture, so 12 SCUs of cargo. So I was actually completely salvaging four boxes every five and a half minutes, roughly. That is insane in comparison to the vulture. And that includes taking the time to move from the pilots to the, the cargo hold, which is much further than the vulture. As with all ships, there are pros and cons to using each one. So I'm gonna go through what I found in my experience when using these ships. Pro number one is that the Reclaimer has a drastically bigger cargo hold. 120 SUs of salvage and 180 SUs of cargo hold alone, 300 in total. With the Vulture's 12 SCU, I mean, it's pretty obvious which one wins. And if I was using a ship, I would want one that can allow me to be out in this field longer. Reclaimer wins there. Number two on the pro list is superior lasers for salvaging, and I cannot understate this one. This one is phenomenally different. I've done an overlay here with the Reclaimer on the right and the Vulture on the left. The Vulture is already well underway salvaging because, well, it is. And I felt it important to show this because the Reclaimer is now just getting out of the pilot seat and is starting much later. But what you'll find is, is that the Reclaimer itself, even though it starts later is still able to catch up with the, the vulture on how much it is collected and not only that exceed it and don't get me wrong the vulture is considered to be a starter ship of salvaging but at this time we only have the vulture or the reclaimer for salvaging ships whether we take hand mining into account which is no way gonna it's not even worth doing there's just a vast disparity between the two as you can see the the uh, SCU on the vulture isn't even at maximum and the the reclaimer has just overtaken it don't get me wrong there is swings and roundabouts to this it's all to do with how much you're collecting how much you're moving your mouse and making sure that you are constantly collecting but even if I was focusing really hard on the vulture I'm telling you now, I don't think I could beat it. It's just too different at this time. Pro number three on the Reclaimer's side is that it has two salvage lasers, which equates to it having two filler stations for the recycled materials to be outputted from. So instead of the Vulture having just the one laser and one filler, meaning it can only have two SCU boxes ready to go before you have to take them out and fill them, I can sit in the Reclaimer use one laser, fill up the laser with both boxes, then get out, use the second laser and do the same, and fill that one up. That is before I have to get out and go and sort out the cargo, just like the Vulture, exactly the same, but I'm doing it 
later because I'm actually able to do more salvaging before I have to do it. And that, alongside the cargo hold and the optimized lasers, really does put the reclaimer way ahead in my opinion. As with all ship comparisons, there has to be some cons. So my experience today when creating and playing with these ships, there was three big cons. The first one is the, the actual size of the ship. It is massive. And whilst it is massively beautiful and heavily detailed, it's big, it's heavy, and does move like a literal truck. So if you are flying it, be cautious, take it steady, and if you're in atmosphere, don't go flying towards the ground because if you don't use your boosters and don't keep your speed up so you're pushing off the floor, you're going to slam in there and get blowed up. Con number two and three are really kind of combined. Because you're not in the pilot seat, you're going to be finding that you're actually not able to move the ship. You're not going to be defending yourself. You can't move. But on top of that, you also have to move to do the cargo in the cargo hold. And those two aspects together can cause a little bit of frustration but I mean if you have experience with the mole I think you'll find moving between pilots to the laser and then the laser to the cargo hold actually quite manageable especially if you are a patient person like myself who enjoys solo gameplay so if you do enjoy that sort of thing I think you'll get along fine with this but for a lot of people they will find moving frustrating and difficult to do but I mean it really swings around about some of the type of person you are when you play. As a bonus, con number four is the inability to dock whilst in space. To dock this ship, you will need to make sure that you re-enter a planet's atmosphere and dock at a major landing hub like Lawville or Area 18, something like that. So whilst doing this is perfectly fine, it does increase the higher risk of death chance because you're going into atmosphere, you need to make sure that you don't crash into the planet. I mean, if you're a perfect flyer, then you won't have a problem, but if you're a, pl a flyer like Haverside, then, you know, he, you might want to think twice about this one. But overall, that is one big con. Maybe in the future, when they get the docking ports working on stations in space, then it would be a lot better in this aspect. But overall, it's not a major one. Whilst playing with these two ships today, I have personally come across some improvements that I think that they should make to the Reclaimer specifically in this case, because we are talking Reclaimer in this video. So to begin with, the salvage hold itself needs to have the ability to fill it easily. So for example, the snapping cargo that you see in the Vulture. Now, from what I've read and done some research on, it is supposed to actually have snapping cargo in the salvage cargo hold area but when i was playing today no matter what i did i couldn't do it so as you can see here i'm actually trying to get the cargo down to the cargo hold because it did work down there um but in my research i found that someone actually had the complete opposite where it worked in the salvage area but it didn't work in the cargo hold so this is likely a bug uh, whether it's a ptu issue or not i don't know but it is something that needs looking at improving on to make sure that it functions correctly but if they are to not have a snapping grid section in the salvage hold i think that would be a, a mistake but if there isn't going to be a cargo hold well sorry, sorry a snapping section in the cargo hold for the salvage area then they need to have a way to get the boxes from the salvage hold downstairs that doesn't involve this elevator because using this elevator is a pain in the bum when it comes to these boxes as you can see i'm having trouble fitting them all on because they're just going all over the place it's a nightmare if they snapped on the elevator again that would be another improvement if it's to involve this elevator lift but if they are doing a rework as they state with this interior of this ship in, in its entirety then this may well disappear in the future Another improvement that I think that they can make to the Reclaimer in their rework, or even beforehand, is the filler stations. Whilst we have two of them, allowing four boxes to be made in total, I think on the Reclaimer, especially in the room upstairs, there's enough room to allow even just like an extra square, an extra cube, to be produced before the station is full. So, for example, you had two boxes outside the filler station instead of the one and then the one inside it. Whilst that is something I think that would be a benefit, it could obviously allow group play to be functional a bit better because you can have two, three, 
four people, but they're all going to be doing something. You might have a pilot, you might have a laser person, someone doing cargo, but they need time to move the cargo. So having the filler station allow more boxes to store will give that mover more time to move the cargo. Because at the minute, with the tractor beam, moving it from the space down below to the elevator with the tractor beam is slow, as you can see here. So again, another improvement, have a cargo conveyor belt upstairs on the second floor to move the boxes along to the elevator if they don't do that in the rework. Again, these are all just ideas, just ideas I've come up with while playing that I found could be beneficial to the reclaimer itself. So overall today, the idea of this video was to see if we can use the reclaimer solo. And it's a resounding yes. Whilst it is a bigger ship, it certainly is possible to fly the ship solo. It's sure, its intended purpose is group play. Pilot, co-pilot, two mining lasers going at the same time, a couple of people downstairs to move the cargo. But do you need that right now? Not really. You can do it all yourself. Sure, there's cons to doing that. You're defenseless. You need to move between the cargo hold and the laser. But it's completely viable. And in my opinion, based on the figures and pr the things I've done today, in my experience, it's faster as well. Comparing with the Vulture, the Reclaimer really does beat the Vulture. And from what I've done today, I don't think I could use the Vulture on this knowledge that I actually can mine salvage faster using the reclaimer now sure it's the ptu it's going to change or it could change things like the values of the efficiency the amount it sucks up all could change the reclaimer could get a rework to its cargo like is stated that could change the fact of it being solo it might not be possible to solo it we just don't know but right now as of the time of this video being created and the ptu being live just before Christmas, it's completely viable gameplay, and that pleases me a lot. I'm a solo player, I love playing alone, just because I have no friends. That's just the way Haverside rolls. But most importantly, as with the mole video that I did, as long as you're enjoying and playing this game how you want to, and having fun doing it, that is really all that matters. And being able to do this solo makes me happy, and that's what is important to me. Whether this video convinces you or not isn't what this video is about. It's just a point of proving that you can do this ship solo. Thank you kindly for taking the time today to watch this video. I hope you found it informative and hopefully gave a new perspective on the Reclaimer itself and how not to fly it because, yeah, Haverside forgets to put his wheels out and uh, hits the side of the hangar. But that's Haverside. Perhaps this did give you a new perspective on using the Reclaimer, or perhaps you decided to go and give it a go. If you did, then let me know your thoughts and how you got on with the Reclaimer. If you liked this video, please give this video a, a like, and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos just like this. Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications when I do release new videos. Once again, thank you for joining on this video today. I'll see you in the next one.